Hey, what's up, everybody out there? This is Mr. Pound for Pound himself. It's going down. Talking about boxing once again. That's what we love to do. Um, I'm just kicking back today, just relaxing. We're still vibing off, you know, the vibe. Oh, I can't say it enough. The Pacquiao Mosley post fight drama, if you would say. I mean, I'm here with a close friend of mine, also another real, real good boxing analyst, uh, Mr. M2. And uh, he's here just to give his piece on the fight. Uh, we're here to talk, have a little conversation, you know, possibly have a little squabble. We'll see what happens. Um, so, Mr. M2, how you doing today? I'm doing well. Making my YouTube debut, you know, in the house. Sounds good. YouTube debut. All right. Pacquiao Mosley, you, I saw the fight. You saw the fight. What do, what did you think? I mean, I gave my, you know, you, you heard my YouTube post. You heard my prediction. You heard my post fight. Uh, how do you feel? What what did I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, I know you had good things to say about Shane before the fight. You know, I I figured if Shane came with a little something, he could he could have had action early on possibly, but I mean, I knew going into the fight that he was he was pretty much done. I knew Roach Roach and Bob Arum, they both knew he was done. That's why they put him in there. I just I'm just disappointed in the fight selection myself. I think he could have fought somebody else and Put on, could have put on a little better show for the fans and just for the sport, sport of boxing. Most general, definitely. You know? Most definitely. I mean, um, where was he? <laughs> well, <laughs> Shane, well, like I was telling you, Shane, Shane's not sugar no more. Not sugar. He's definitely not sugar anymore. But, um, you know, I didn't mean, there was there was points in the fight where I, I did feel bad for the guy because it looked like he was going to go out there and try, but... It wasn't there. Didn't it look like he was scared? Yes, yes, he was. It looked scared, like he was definitely. a little afraid, right? I remember, I remember turning you, looking at you after the knockdown, coming out to round what was it round four? Correct. And just looking at you, saying, "Hey, like, you can just see it in his eyes. He's done, man." We pretty much, we pretty He's much kind of knew it was over at that point. Um, Pacquiao, I mean, assess the guy. You know, you've had your views about him. You know, we've gotten a few arguments. Uh, personally, I personally love him. Uh, well, give, well, how do you think he did that night? I think I think Pacquiao did what he had to do, you know. I mean, yeah. obviously he doesn't pick his pick his fighters, you know. Right. Freddie Roach and well, Bob Arum. We, we do don't that know for if him, he, you know? you know. We don't know if he does. So, well, that's what he always says, you know. I'll leave it up to my promoter. So yeah. we'll take his word for it. Yeah, we'll know? take his word for it. But um, I, <laughs> he he did what he had to do to win. You know, I give him the I give him credit. He got the W. Yeah. But um, I personally think that there was other. Other challengers out there that and that, that could have gave us a, a much better show. And like who? Let's, let's hear this. Well, I mean, it could have been anybody. You could go like he's like 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 uh, Bradley, Alexander, no. possibly annihilated. I mean, Khan, annihilated. Uh, even even Berto. I mean, even annihilated. Though, I mean, they had. I mean, he, <laughs> <laughs> all three of those people. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to disagree with you right here. All, all three okay, annihilation. Then Martinez. Okay, you, oh, no, I mean, yeah, you, okay, that's okay, you could have your opinions on those other guys that I named off, but we don't know until they get in the ring. Yeah, that's true. you know, I mean, honestly, you can't sit here and say that those guys wouldn't have put on a better fight than Shane Mosley. Absolutely, would have. They would have done much better last night. Than I would have done much better. Exactly. So that's why I say put him in there with these young guys. You know, if if they get beat, they get beat. You're but right. at least, but well, let's at least see Pacquiao challenged out there. That's what I want to see. I want to see him take take a challenge on yeah. a on a young, upcoming, hungry fighter. Well, this isn't the golden era. We both know that. There's no more. Dangerous fighters for an upcoming fighter like an I Corte for an upcoming De La Hoya. There's there's no more really dangerous fighters like that. Like when De La Hoya is coming up, we had the Corte fight. We were literally on the edge of the couch, nervous, <laughs> butterflies in the stomach, saying, "Come on, De La Hoya!" No, there's no fighters out there to pose that type of threat for Pacquiao as far as youth. Like I, I don't think Victor Ortiz is strong enough. And we saw what he did to Berto's. So obviously, yeah. Berto's not strong enough. And I remember everybody was saying Berto's gonna kill Ortiz. He's too strong. Yeah, and Berto I was looked saying, like the next best thing. And we and... no, but we both we both were sitting on the couch and we were like, "Hey, Ortiz <laughs> is gonna take this fight," and everybody's calling us crazy. <laughs> and what happened? You, you know, know even I, my I, even my lovely even my lovely interviewer, <laughs> which she couldn't be here today, but. She picked Ortiz, and she actually had me changing my mind at first. When I start reassessing it, she said, "Hey, Ortiz is gonna win this fight." And I started looking at it. And I said, "You know what? You're absolutely right." But back to the subject, they're not an Ike Corte in his prime. They're not a you know Ike Corte comes in, he wipes them out. Well, they, Pacquiao doesn't have those type of challenges. Yeah, that's true. But then again, like you said. You know, we we personally thought, and a lot of other people thought that Ortiz didn't have the heart 
or anything to mess with Birdo in the yeah, ring. Everybody did. Right? Yeah, and look what happened. I mean, Birdo had to get in there with him, and he got beat. Got you beat know? bad. I mean, any anything could happen in boxing. You know, that's why I say at least get in there with someone who's who's got a legit shot. I mean, Mosley Mosley of old would have been different, but that wasn't the case last night. So Mosley of I, new. I, I, <laughs> it was Mosley of new. It was a new Shane I never seen. I was like. Yeah, he was. He's done, man. He's shot. He's done. Um, let's see here. So let's throw it out there. Mayweather Pacquiao. I mean, there. Everybody's gonna talk about this now. What's up? What do you think? Let me let me just get your view on it, man. Well, I personally say no, Sergio Martinez. Sergio, Sergio said, "Hey, put Pacquiao on the ring with me. I'll knock him out. No problem." And I personally believe that. He'll so, and definitely I definitely knock him out. I love. <laughs> I love Pacquiao. Please don't take the fight. I think Sergio <laughs> Martinez is a dangerous fight. He's too big, southpaw, and he's, he hits he hits like a truck. I mean, look what he did to Paul Williams. Destroyed. We haven't seen Paul Williams since. And Paul Williams probably talking with a slur right now. Paul I don't Williams know. Paul Williams probably still on the canvas right now after that knockout. So I, but I think they could share the top spot. Sergio, Pac, share it. Pac's still on number one, though. He's still on the perch. But let, I, yeah, I, let's let's bring it up. Mayweather, Mayweather, Pac. What's up? Ah. Uh, Personally, I don't really like talking about a fight that I don't think is going to happen. But if they do get in the ring, it would be, for both of them, their career-defining fight. It's like, that's the only option for them. That's their only super fight out there. The money's there. The fans are there. They want to see it. Will it happen? I don't think so. And if it does happen, I think Mayweather would probably come out on top. Just my opinion. But, um... That's that's all I have to say about that. I mean, I don't I, I don't think the fight will happen personally. Yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, Mayweather, my my, I like Mayweather. I mean, I've followed his career the longest. I chose him when people said he was gonna lose. Uh, my thing is at this point with Mayweather, like I said in my previous video, <laughs> I mean, everyone heard it. If you're gonna run your mouth, it needs to end now. You do you getting paid way more money than a lot of other boxers. You're getting offered. I mean, a ton of money. Take the fight. You got all the, you're the best. You're the greatest. You're undefeated. You're this, you're that. Pernell Winokur, you think you're better than Ali. You're better you think than you're Ali. Better than get in there, man. <laughs> you know, get in the ring. Yeah, you, should, you shouldn't be worried about this guy if you're that good, you know? How do you think that fight plays out? Just real quick. I mean, Pacquiao Mayweather, how do you think that plays out? I think that. Just get a quick, a little quick one because we're still, we should still be on Mosley Pacquiao, but it's such an abysmal fight. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. This is, I I just think that hand speed. I probably have to give a slight edge to Pacquiao, Pacquiao. at this point. Yeah, for real. Defense is definitely Mayweather, and I yeah. think that's what would probably put him over the top in that one. Because I, I still see a lot of holes in Pacquiao. He he can still he's still there to be hit a lot of times, even against these cans that he's been fighting recently. He's he's coming out, you know, swole up eyes, bleeding, mm. and things like that. He's there to get hit, so I think Mayweather's defense will probably be the deciding factor in that one. And this is where we're gonna, you know, agree to disagree. I'm gonna come out of here, and uh, <laughs> you're looking at me crazy already. I'm kind of on the fence with this fight because I think Mayweather can do it, but it's very similar. If you guys want to compare fights, I think this fight is gonna be Duran Leonard one. Similar. Possible. Yeah. It's possible. Very possible. Duran Leonard won. Uh, Pacquiao's going to come get it. I mean, he's the one that really wants this fight. And Floyd's been the one kind of, uh, yeah. I don't know yet. I don't know. So we could see a we could see a Duran Leonard won and where maybe a Mayweather has his moments and just gets outworked. Or we could see Mayweather stand his ground and throw throw down and actually try to hurt Pacquiao, and that would be a different result. That It's, it's a possibility, but I think that – Honestly, I feel that Mayweather is just one of the safest guys I've ever seen in the ring. Yeah. So I don't think he would allow that to happen in there. He would just play it safe all night long, and it would be another snoozer like the rest of his fights. Uh, I, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they get in there, then we'll, we'll have to do another video on it. <laughs> well, just being a fighter, if I'll tell you right now, if Mayweather's going to sit there in that posture, in that defensive stance, he's going to get clocked. And, he's gonna, and Pacquiao's just going to unload on him. And those ten ounce gloves don't feel good. Oh yeah. And they will tire you out. Well, for the fans, hopefully uh, that happens. Yeah, we'll this way, see. this way we can see a fight for once. Yeah, you yeah. know. We'll see what happens. We can see we can see the best of Floyd and we can see the best of Pacquiao in there. All right. Well, we're gonna sign off real quick. This is I just wanted to get my boy M two on here. 
once again, we're going to quickly go right back to the Mosley Pacquiao fight this weekend. Give us one last, just a hey, one word. Give okay. me one word. Well, what I want to say no, is... No, one that, word. And I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there. One but word. I think Shane... Shane's done. He's retire, and I'm gonna have to pull his Hall of Fame credentials out. And oh, he I can't think he's out of the Hall of Fame now. Yeah, can't do that. He's got to win one of these fights along yeah, the way. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't pull him just, from the Hall of Fame. Just my opinion. My opinion? Nope. You know you can't <laughs> pull him from the Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, you can't go. You can't go 11 years and not have a big win. Right, you gotta well, have a win somewhere along the way. Well, I'm I'm gonna win <laughs> when I when I get up there in the ranks. But check this. out. I would never fight like that. By the way. Anyways, check this out. Um, what you still give me my one word? I'm um, one word sums it up. Fight one word. Boring. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody out there. This is Mister Pound for Pound. It's going soon. I'm just playing. <laughs> and my boy M2 here. We're coming back. Pascal Hopkins to the rematch. You will get my analysis on that. We'll see y'all later. Have a blessed day.